Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Tanks to Invest. Talk about investing, finance, pressure development. For today's video, your terms only. The investment I'm going to talk about today will be Ethereum Turkey ETH. I know it's my second video that I'm posting again today, and this is more of a, you know, recap of the synopsis of the B-Word Summit that we've heard earlier today and how it's going to be affecting the market dynamics for Ethereum and some other cryptocurrencies going forward. And based on the synopsis uh, of my, you know, first impressions of the meeting that we were you know, listening in with respect to the debates or the informational sessions or uh, discussions, however you want to categorize it, uh, between Kathy Wood, Jack Dorsey, and Elon Musk, and this and the host, obviously Steve, right? And I think Steve did a relatively good job allowing, uh, you know, for us to capture the essence of what they were trying to, you know, explain without trying to hijack the conversation or try to lean towards one side of the spectrum or try to influence anything. So it was a relatively substantive one, right? And based on the con you know the discussions we had, we learned a couple of things, right? I think overall on the macro spectrum, the meeting was definitely you know leaning more toward a neutral diplomatic tone, but lean more towards positive uh, type of affectation because of some of the actions that they have mentioned that they have done. Uh, with respect to you know um, Elon Musk has expressed to us and confirmed that he currently is an investor in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even Dogecoin. So obviously with the step of approval, and obviously you know with his um, you know him putting his money where his mouth is definitely gives a lot of investors a lot of confidence. But he did express you know with respect to despite his support for cryptocurrencies in general. Uh, there is obviously environmental concern related to mining, which you know, which is something that we need to fix, you know, collectively speaking, right? And it's a uh, areas of improvement that we'll f further cultivate going forward, right? In addition to that, uh, with respect to some key words that he mentioned, right? He said something about like he might pump, but he will not dump with respect to Bitcoin, right? So I I, I don't know what that really means specifically. Um, and maybe he's uh, he's a holder for a long term. He believes in a long term value proposition, uh, but he probably said based on how he felt at the time. But with respect to his true action behind, or what's the right incentive behind why he said what he did, um, you know, it's something we have to kind of question, right? But ultimately, he wants the value proposition of Bitcoin to succeed, right? He did mention something kind of interesting with respect to. You know, his um, depictions around uh, if you really hate corporations, right, then you really hate government. So by doing that, knowing the fact that cryptocurrency is a decentralized entity, uh, it allows us to basically overtake the government control going forward. Then you should be investing into cryptocurrency as a whole. So that was quite interesting. Um, obviously, it goes against the you know the initialization that Jen Yelling's trying to propose to us by enforcing bit uh, stablecoin into the ecosystem by you know more of a euphemism to control the market as a whole going forward. Uh, putting by putting some tightened ropes around it, right? So definitely, you know, leaning more toward a positive spectrum. It was more of a diplomatic discussions, uh, but obviously with the action speak for itself is definitely positive. So we are winning ultimately, right? And I think this is, uh, you know, gives uh, us confidence uh, as investors for long term going forward. But obviously, with respect to the summit, right, we are experiencing the buy the rumor, sell the news type of affectation, which is uh, what we're seeing right now. I think at one point today, we hit all the way to the $2,034 uh, level. We didn't breach the $2,050 level, unfortunately, that we didn't was not able to sustain but we did break through um like three resistance levels that i've identified so far so it is a relatively good sign and i believe um you know with respect to the technical analysis that we'll be performing going forward we should see some more bullish pressure on thursday tomorrow as the international news get picked up at the same time and also and then the weekend affectation we might have more of a neutralization and then it's the fomc meeting on the 28th right so I'm going to go through the market dynamics going forward. How should we be playing going forward? What are the resistance levels we should watch out for? Um, so stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. All right, so moving on to the technical analysis on Ethereum Tech at ETH. I'm recording this at 4.56 p.m. on the Eastern time. Currently trading like the $19.48 level up about 8.10%. So today was definitely a very really, you know green day for a lot of us. So congratulations for the ones that bought the dip in the previous days with respect to obviously the Jen and Yelling meeting that subsequently drives some fear mongering 
a month of market dynamics and I was able to buy at the $1750 level that were previously identified and really you know I'm happy for everybody that have been listening in and understanding the market dynamics and dollar cost averaging at the logical level at the 1750 and we are relatively uh, healthy green right now so really I'm happy that you guys are you know uh, successful uh, in your trade so far and respect to the you know today's media affectation obviously you know we got a lot of positive news from Elon Musk uh, and the depictions around Kathy Woods on her support for crypto assets going forward and even Jack Dorsey himself as well um, You know the the discussion was relatively neutral again, right? It was more diplomatic You know, it was definitely a more of a media trained type of affectation But with respect to that action that you know it speaks for itself, right? They are investors into these assets, right? And they did talk about the value proposition going forward and some areas of improvement going forward, which is something that we still need to cultivate going forward, right? So overall, I would say net net positive today. So definitely a win for us. And I think what what's gonna happen in the near term for tomorrow, right? As the international side of the world start to wake up, right? Because this event was hosted in California, I believe, and the time zone difference, people are still you know waking up uh, from the you know other side of the world, if you may. So the news probably hasn't got picked up yet, uh, or they are getting picked up, but they just haven't read it yet. Uh, so they might just keep buying up uh, until the Friday and the Saturday affectation. So let's take a look at in more of the tactical perspective. So knowing the fact that today, right, we were at the 1750, which is the level that we have identified as the resistance level. So I bought that and we were up and we reached that first level at the 1850, which was a very substantive level. And then we break through the 1900 because again, that's a psychological phase number. And then we broke through that next level, the 1950, which is another level we have identified previously. We broke through all the way to 2000, right? But again, the 2000 is not a flat number. It's just a num It's a flat number. It's not a substantive number is what I meant, right? We never was able to get above the 2050. We got to 2034.75 today, today's, today's all time high. Uh, that if you are able to get there, but you cannot get completely there, you don't have any substance, right? Then you kind of just levitating or hovering away. Then you subsequently sell back down, right? And that's exactly what happens. Like buy the rumor, sell the news, right? And, you know, as people heard that Elon Musk bought, you know, Ethereum and he's an investor in Dogecoin, he's an investor in Bitcoin, and he's positive about the long-term value proposition, obviously he's going to pump up, right? Because he's a public figure that has a lot of influence right uh, but people obviously know better that by that point we were pretty inflated on an RSI perspective right we are pretty much on a neutral zone right now I know early you know this last couple of days we were pretty depleted um, so that's why we're leaning more toward an upward trend right now and I do foresee some more up bullish trend tomorrow as the internationals gets picked up also on top of the fact that MACD is crossing upward right now so we'll see how that goes tomorrow if we cross up, right? And we'll see how that will get picked up internationally. If the dynamic is in our favor for tomorrow from the international side of the world, that the, the you know, the Asia news or some other news from overseas, you know, are, you know, kind of spinning the story and leaning more toward a positive affectation type of spectrum, people are going to be buying it up. That's just a matter of fact, right? Uh, and if we cross up, we will have a lot more bullish trends going forward, right? And then we'll probably leap up back to the 2000 and possibly even leap up to the 2150. Um, and we will sell off a little bit by Friday and Saturday because that's just a matter of fact. And we might just hover around like the 2050 or just kind of hover around here, right? But if we, you know... If people are, you know, on the international side of the spectrum, see that, oh, it's pumped up like 8% today. It might make sense to take some profit, um, and that will subsequently drive some selling pressure for tomorrow, right? But I think that will be unlikely because the news that we got today was relatively positive, right? It hasn't got picked up yet, um, and it's ahead of the weekend. So I think that's likely that we'll actually, you know, hover around these areas here and leap back up above the 2000 uh dollars level possibly testing 2050 but that's something we have to watch for tomorrow right if we leap up above 2050 we we'll leap up all the way to 2150 dollars level right do we see 1750 anytime soon i think we kind of missed it already 
Uh, but we have to see, right? Because the FOMC meeting is on the 28th. So if we have a really negative one, like Jenny Yelling is really fighting um, and really pushing forward for a stable coin or putting some tightening ropes around it, oh man, we will sell off on both equity side and also with respect to crypto side. Um, and that's something that we will we have seen historically. Uh, and the effects that the Feds have on the financial market is pretty substantial, right? So that's something to watch out for. Um, so learn to take profit sometimes. And I think the ones that were smart today was able to take some profit at $2,034 level because we knew about the buy the rumor, sell the news affectation that I keep mentioning for the last couple of days so far now. So congrats again for, for everybody that secured profit. Uh, but for those that are holding long term, nothing to worry about. Like we are, the genie's out of the box, if you may. It's too late for us to put the genie back into the to the vase or whatever, the, the lantern. Um, so hopefully this is helpful. All right, just to recap all the numbers and technical analysis, I think the current level of the 1950, we are basically just hovering away, right? Uh, the 1950 is not really a substantive level. 1960 is the substantive level. And again, we broke through the 2000. We didn't get up all the way to 2050. So I think the probability of us actually just uh, kind of hovering back down to 1900, contingent on like the international side of the dynamics that picked up tomorrow, I do foresee some buying pressure to actually leap back up uh, to the 2000. So um, we have a likelihood of actually surging a little bit more ahead of the weekend affectation. Uh, 1850, I think that's pretty much a stretch. I think we might potentially get there by the FOMC meeting, depending on how the Fed wants to be manipulating us going forward. So that's something to be mindful of because the FOMC meeting has historically been, you know, relatively a, a market maker, if you may, right? It, uh, and if we hear anything specific around like inflationary pressure, a quantitative tightening, tapering, if you may, um, that could subsequently, you know, correct the market, if you may, both on the equity side and the crypto side, right? With respect to 20, uh, corporate adoption, 20%, 9,800, five times your money if you buy at the $19.50 level. All right, so that's it for today. Respect my technical analysis on Ethereum Ticket ETH. Hopefully you guys had a great day today. I know I did. I was extremely busy today. I was in a city running around. Uh, it was raining at the same time. I'm really happy that you guys were able to secure a profit or made some gains, if you may. And also, I like, love your support and your guidance so far. I really appreciate you for supporting me um, and you know listening to me uh, on a daily basis. It really means a lot to me for you to, to have your friendship and uh, to have you know just your support in general. Um, this is uh, supposed to be for me to giving back, and I really love the resonance and the um, you know the. The relationship that I've been cultivating ever since. Um, but uh, really appreciate it. I'm going to keep going and keep pushing through and to try to help as many people as we can collectively, right? Uh, but yeah, so stay tuned for the next video coming up. Take care. Bye.